Hi everyone, Cody here. As you remember, I was uh, on my second step of making heavy water inside my dorm room. See my periodic table and stuff there. Anyway, uh, it's been uh, two weeks since my last update. Here we are, it's still bubbling. We're less than half of what I had. You'll notice I put some uh, bottles in there to take up space to increase the uh, height of the solution. That was because uh, the current is based off of uh, several things and one of them is the surface area of the electrode that is touching the solution. I noticed that as it boiled down the concentration was increasing but for some reason unlike uh, sulfuric acid the magnesium sulfate actually it doesn't go up linearly with concentration. It's like uh, in order to double the amperage going into the solution I would have to make the concentration like four times more. So it wasn't uh, increasing in the way that I expected or that the sulfuric acid was. So I had to increase the surface area to get any kind of rate. I could have increased the voltage, but this thing only goes so far. It makes a lot of noise if I bring it up there. I never did distill out the magnesium sulfate. I really wish I did, but I, I never went home the last weekend, so of course I didn't. The, uh, the electrodes actually seem to have been uh, degrading. I have uh, I had to empty it out once, and uh, this looks like a lead sponge, I think. See that? It was uh, shorting out the cell, so I had to remove it. Basically, the ends of these electrodes are like uh, flaking off for some reason. They don't do that with a sulfuric acid, but with the magnesium, for some reason they do. I, I guess the magnesium keeps the lead from sticking to the electrode, and so when it uh, is electrolyzed, it just kind of spalls off something. Either way, I am not doing magnesium again. See here, there's a little bit of water inside this tube, as expected. And I put this extra jar here to catch the water that gets out. And, uh, well, I didn't catch much. Hardly any, really. Most of this was actually during the beginning when the solution was way up here. But as it boiled down, it did it, start running down the side here. It wouldn't, it wouldn't actually go up and out. The uh, cooling bath uh, probably helps significantly with that. Okay, so this is my distillation apparatus that I've referred to several times. And I have the magnesium sulfate solution in there boiling right now. I'm just using the air to condense it. If you watch this, you should be able to see it dripping. Yeah, it's not going very fast and it never does. It usually takes a whole day to boil down a liter of stuff. All right. So this is going to continue. Uh, once it boils dry, I'm going to let it go for a while so it gets really hot to uh, dehydrate the magnesium. And that should be my best bet of getting all the water through. Alright, here we are. I got all the magnesium out. Looks like I've got about 300 milliliters left. I guess it's time for my $60 sulfuric acid. I'm only going to add a little bit. Maybe a bit more than that. Okay, that's probably plenty. I've got this set up here in a small jar. Got some uh, lead wire going in there. You can see it's uh, bubbling fiercely. It's also getting quite hot, so this uh, water bath is definitely helping. I've got the uh, water collector over here, just collecting the water. As you can see, it's got quite a bit in there. I'll have to dump that back in soon. And over here, you can see, trying to get up into the sky, is a balloon. This is the gas that I've been capturing. I take this knife here and cut her loose. And this is after just a couple hours. It fills up this balloon astonishingly fast. I just popped it. <laughs> see if I can see if I can manage to tie it. Yeah, that should work. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun. I've been making several of those, mostly to capture the hydrogen so I can keep it around. It looks like currently I've got her down to maybe 100 milliliters. So that is approximately 60 times natural concentration, which means I'm approaching 1% heavy water, <laughs> which is a pretty good uh, milestone there. But apparently I've got a lot more to go. So I'm going to have to make the actual heavy water experiments in the next episode. So see you then.